faculty thinks I've gone loopy, like some kind of spongy Mobius strip. That's why I'm here, isn't it, Dr. Decker? I can see people's dreams. I've uh, set up an experiment. My dad is trying to hurt me. Quantum suicide. Have you heard of it? If I concentrate hard enough, and I know when the person's going to be asleep, I can have the dream with them. Well, let's call him God. He creates this world for his amusement, something he can play with and occasionally alter to suit his mood. It feels like the paintings are watching me. Sometimes, when I walk through a door, it takes me somewhere else, literally somewhere else. God loves chaos, but something goes wrong. Man and woman involved. What was once chaotic becomes well, more ordered. It starts as a door-to-door -door saleswoman. Double glazing, probably. Dr. Decker, I think we both know what you dreamed about last night. I've seen its silhouette changing through the window. Because he thinks I'm evil. Because I can see things other people can't. On the basis, the central component of our universe is chaos. Science can only document a perception of the chaos at any one given moment in time. I did what you said, Doctor. They arrested me. Which means that at any given moment, we can choose to alter our perception of the world, no matter how much chaos that would cause. I thought you were supposed to fix me. I'm telling you, it's eating people. And you're just laughing. You're insane, Doctor. Listen to me. You're not listening. It's your only bloody job. You're late. And after all those promises, never mind, Doctor. let's not keep the pace. You're late. And after all those Doctor. promises. You're late. Doctor. You're and after late. all those And after all those promises, never mind. After all those promises, mm, never mind. Let's not keep the patients waiting. And if you want anything, just... Oh, sorry, I forgot. I'm not going to be here. The police still have some questions they want to ask about, you know. And then after that, I'm dropping in to see Ben. He's still in shock, and I thought we'd show we cared. We do still care, don't we, Doctor? Good. Anyway, I hope you're all caught up on Dr. Decker's tapes. I think Mariana is in first, but I'm sure they'll all become a blur by the end of the day. I'll see you later. Or tomorrow. Uh, probably tomorrow. I'll leave it to you then. I'm Nathan Peel. I'm a supermarket worker from, well, hell, really. Dr. Decker's murder was sudden, brutal. It's terrible. A doctor. Two weeks. Two weeks I had of rolling days. No do overs. No Monday, Monday, Monday. I wouldn't kill anyone, though. I'd have to keep doing it, wouldn't I? Few things seem to move me forward. It's like those montages you get in movies. Time passes, you wake up, shave, if you feel like it, shower, get dressed. What's the point? You get this day over and over. Nothing changes. Am I in purgatory, Doctor?
because I'm stuck between this day and the next, most of the time, anyway. Sometimes it looks different. Sometimes the bird song will change, or, or the weather will be less bleak, or, the, or that person who nodded at you yesterday doesn't, doesn't do it today. But it doesn't usually change. You need a tragic event for change, like a murder. I didn't see the driver. It was my fault. I pulled out and the lorry just rammed me. Well, Hannah. She was sat next to me. I was in shock, obviously. And when I came to, she was so close to me. It was like she was trying to hug me. But it wasn't right. Not natural. Bits of metal pushing through her. That was five years ago. 